Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 5, The Wolf and the Lion. I forgot she has him captive. Oh my, this is about to be war, I think. Well, that's some HBO entertainment. I'm kind of like learning this soon now. I like that. All right, so King's Landing in the south. This place is beautifully constructed. Absolutely. We have some snakes in the grass. Mm -hmm. Winterfell is north. The, the Eerie. What? what was that? The Eerie? <laughs> Girl, you can read. I was like, the I. <laughs> <laughs> it was spelled like the Irie. Yeah, there's Winterfell. So that's a new place? Yeah, we've never been there. Let's go. Oh, thank you guys for telling me what the tree is. I'm not going to explain it. It takes too long, but <laughs> I, I get it for sure. The faces, all that war. Pretty cool. It is called Death Pack. They told us in the comments. Let's go. It was weird. I didn't know where the camera was. <laughs> I know. I'm so confused right now. I feel like I'm looking everywhere. Mm, they're cleaning it. That's See, <laughs> they cleaned up the blood and they're. <gasps> so, Hugh, have any family in the capital? No. I stood vigil for him myself last night. He had no one else. He'd never worn this armor before. Bad luck for him, going against the mountain. Who determines the draw? All the nice draw straws, Lord Star. But who holds the straws? You've done good work, sisters. Oh, so he's thinking, like, there's some foul play at hand here. Right. You can tell. Life is strange. <clears throat> Not so many years ago, we fought as enemies of the Trident. I'm glad we never met on the field, Sir Beriston. As is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're too modest. I've seen you cut down a dozen great knights. Who you got? Ned all day. He was a fine man, your father. What the Mad King did to him was a terrible crime. That lad, he was a squire until a few months ago. How could he afford a new suit of armor? Perhaps Lord Aaron left him some money. I hear the king wants to joust today. Oh, Robert ain't about to get up on that horse. <laughs> <laughs> Looking goofy. Oh! Oh, he's about Maybe to do it. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. It's made too small, Your Grace. It won't go. Your mother was a dumb with a fat ass. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this idiot. One ball <laughs> and no outfit. brains. You're too fat for your armor. Fat. He just got insulted because he's too fat. <laughs> is that fat. how you speak to your king? <laughs> what is the truth? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> what if he ain't playing one day, though? I that know. Funny, is it? <laughs> oh, see? No, Your Grace. No. You don't like the hands, Joe. Oh, no. <laughs> it's ushered in the poor boy. Go find the breastplate stretcher. Now! He's going to be looking a minute for that. The breastplate stretcher. <laughs> That's a tough life. Maybe you should have one invented. <laughs> All right. You what is his outfit, then? Still going to point a lance. You have no business jousting. Why? Because I'm king. I want to hit somebody. And who's going to hit your bike? Anybody who can. And the last man in his saddle. Will be you. There's not a man in the seven kingdoms would risk hurting you. You're telling me those cowards would let me win? Aye. Well, duh. <laughs> Drink. No, I'm not thirsty. Drink. Your king commands it. <laughs> Man, y'all gotta set some walls for the king, though. That's too fat for my armor. <laughs> A Lannister boy. Mm, bloody idiot. <laughs> Cersei insisted. <laughs> Why? Have John Arryn to thank for her. Cersei Lannister will make a good match, she told me. You need her father on your side. I thought being king meant I could do whatever I wanted. You know, for this. Let's go watch him ride. Robert. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bow, you shits. <laughs> What's he talking about? Is he just drunk or something? <laughs> I don't know. He's like a drunk uncle, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, he's our yeah, king. Like... He's the king of them. Where's are you? At her dancing lessons. The Knight of the Flowers. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Loris. Hey, but won't the king get mad if he sees that? Or the, not the king, but the, the little boy? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he doesn't care because he hates her. <laughs> Oh, the king didn't seem to mind because he hates Joffrey, right? So the king's basically drunk because he just hates his family. I don't know. And he's just alone. But isn't this guy about to go up against, like... Hey. He's about to go up against the mountain, this little kid. Oh, that big old dude? <laughs> yeah, the oh, mountain. Oh, my gosh. So Loris rides well. That's cool armor, though. <laughs> you see his belt all slinging down. <laughs> well, where was the queen at? Her seat was empty. How did he do it? He won? Such a shame, little finger. It would have been so nice for you to have a friend. And tell me, Lord Renly, when will you be having your friend? Man, this is looking like a Dallas Cowboys game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking that junk. <laughs> Loris knew his mare was in heat. Quite crafty, really. So Loris would never do that. There's no honor in tricks. No honor and quite a bit of gold. Oh! 
sword. You can just go to a sword fight? <laughs> oh. He cut his He was mad at his horse? <gasps> oh. What? This dude's wild. You can't just do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, isn't that his brother? What is happening? Stop this madness in the name of your You see the way he ducked under the sword like that? Well, you better kneel. Let him go. Oh my gosh. He just disrespected the whole kingdom like that. Everyone takes the king very serious. I owe you my life, sir. Oh, oh. I'm not sir. <laughs> oh, I think Sansa's got a crush on that guy. That's a better choice, though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Remove his hood. Oh, that's... They're so wrong for that. <laughs> This isn't the king's road. You said we were riding for Winterfell. I did, often and loudly. Very wise. You'll be out in droves, looking for me in the wrong place. Words probably got into my father by now. He'll be offering a handsome reward. Everyone knows a Lannister always pays his debts. Would you be so good as to untie me? Why would I do that? Why not? Am I going to run? Hill tribes would kill me for my boots. Unless a shadow cat ate me first. Shadow cats and hill tribes are the least of your concerns. Ah, the Eastern Road. We're going to the Vale. You're taking me to your sister's to answer for my imagined crimes. When was the last time you saw your sister? Five years. So she's got a sister. She's changed. Mm -hmm. You might as well kill me here. I am not a murderer, Lannister. Neither am I. The dagger found. What sort of imbecile arms an assassin with his own blade? I gag him. Why? <laughs> am I starting to make sense? <laughs> you can oh imagine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, who just knocked the space off? <laughs> What in the heck? What kind of attack is this? Who are these people? <gasps> this is the most gory episode. Untie me. If I die, what's the point? Dang, she did? I probably would have. <laughs> so are these just like rogue people? <laughs> like just some nomads? Right. <laughs> Risky. Dang. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang. Oh my. Oh yeah. Guilty. Oh. Nah, maybe this he did it. This is so much. All right, dude. Bro, we're gonna have we to edit it. the mess out of this. You know we, get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. There's no need to bloody yourself. You're first, you mm. need a woman. Nothing like a woman after a fight. Well, I'm willing if she is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that guy. <laughs> that was so weird to me. Like, there. these people just ran up on the king's brother like that. There should be consequences. The king's brother in law. Sigil, a kraken. Lords? Greyjoys. Thanes for their skills at archery, navigation, and lovemaking. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy on John Wick. I'm, I forgot to mention that. A crown is there, now that Robert's king. Good. Words, ours is the Fury. Lords, the Baratheons. The Westerlands. Sigil, a lion. Words, a Lannister always pays his debt. No, a common saying, but not their official motto. Oh, they say that a lot? <laughs> Family, duty, honor. Those are Tully words, your mother's. Are we playing a game? Family, duty, honor. Is that the right order? You know it is. Family comes first. Your mother had to leave Winterfell. Dang, he's doing low blows. <laughs> How can she protect the family if she's not with her family? Your mother sat by your bed for three weeks while you slept. And then she left. Oh, so he's like bitter because yeah. his mom left. I get it. I was the one who pulled you from your mother. I placed you in her arms. From that moment until the moment she dies, she will love you. Why did she leave? I still can't tell you, but she will be home soon. Do you know where she is now? No, I don't. Then how can you promise me she'll be home soon? Sometimes I worry you're too smart for your own good. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's asking some good questions. And where is that written? You need legs to work a bow. If the saddle Lord Tyrion designed actually works, you could learn to shoot a bow from horseback. Really? Dothraki boys learn when they're four years old. Why shouldn't you? <laughs> oh, so there's still hope for him to be like a warrior. Yeah. This dude's pretty good. Right. You're not the only nobleman in my life, you know. Who, the imp? I call him half a nobleman. <laughs> What's a dwarf like down below? Mm, might surprise you. <laughs> I've been Lord Stark's ward since I was eight years old. What's the war, Ben? I have no idea. My father fought for the freedom of his people. What did your father do? You're a very serious boy. I'm not a boy. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it. Get yourself a wife. <laughs> what? Come on. 
Oh, yeah, she's so sweet catching cats. <laughs> yeah, because he got told to yeah. study cats. <laughs> How is your son, my lord? He'll never walk again. But his mind is sound. So they say. I suffered an early mutilation myself. I don't trust him. Mm -mm. Like he's trying to sell a car or something. Yeah, and they said he has all these birds and, you know. Oh, yeah, like the spies? Yeah. There are things you must know. You are the king's hand and the king is a fool and doomed unless you save him. Oh. <laughs> Why have you waited so long to tell me this? The queen is not the only one who has been watching you closely. There are few men of honor in the capital. You are one of them. What sort of doom does the king face? The same sort as John Aaron. The tears of lease, they call it. It leaves no trace. Was he talking about poison? You know, to be honest, I was so deep in thought trying to figure out if this dude's up to something or not. And if he is up to something, what is that something? There was one boy. The squire, Sir Hugh. Pity what happened to him. If Sir Hugh poisoned him, who paid Sir Hugh? Someone who could afford it. John was a man of peace. Why kill him? He started asking questions. What questions? He was reading those books. And remember, they found out Robert has a bastard son. Oh, OK. I need to start thinking in terms of like the you need to remember like the last episode sometimes because that was like we saw it at the beginning here. It was like reminded us a little bit. I keep forgetting that it's a really big deal about the lineage of the right to the throne. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. The fools tried to kill his son. They botched it. The wolf and the lion will beat each other's throats. We will be at war soon, my friend. We're not ready. One hand can die. Why not a second? This hand is not the other. Khal Drogo will not make his move until his son is born. So they think they're, reply, that Khal Drogo is going to fight them. No, but they were talking about making an attempt on Stark's son. Yeah, the one that fell off the... Bran? Bran, that's what it is. They were talking about how... They're going to be at war because of that. We pay a visit to my brothel this evening. I think you are mistaking business with pleasure. We accommodate all inclinations. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, is he calling him? Okay, I see what he's saying. All desires are valid to a man with a full purse. I heard the most awful rumor about a certain lord with a taste for fresh cadavers. Must be enormously difficult to accommodate that inclination. The logistics alone to find beautiful corpses before they rot. Oh. So he traffics and all that? Now, the last time I saw you, you were talking to the hand of the king saw me with your own eyes council business they're so there sneaky so much to discuss with ned stark everyone's well aware of your enduring fondness for lord stark's wife if the lannisters were behind the attempt on the stark boy's life and it was discovered that you helped the starks come to that conclusion a simple word to the queen one shudders at a thought <laughs> they're having this whole discussion right there in this throne room Right. That's when I saw you escorting a certain foreign dignitary. Of course, you would have friends from across the narrow sea. You're from there yourself, after all. We're friends, aren't we? So he's saying, so I'll blackmail you. Wondering if the king might question my friend's sympathies. What a little rat. What are you two conspiring about? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, you'd best hurry up. My brother is coming. Derby news from far away. Hadn't you heard? Oh, my. There's a lot going on there, guys. I'm just going to have yeah, to. Yeah, that was a whole lot. Yeah. We'll, we'll learn more about that as we go on. All I know is the little finger dude definitely seems like a terrible human No, being. so does Lord Varys, too. They both seem very sneaky. Absolutely. And they're both kind of pointing the finger at the other one, to Ned. Off with you. No begging. <laughs> I'm not a beggar. I live here. Do you want a smack on your ear to help you with your hearing? I want to see my father. You want your father, boy? <laughs> <laughs> my father is Hand of the King. I'm not a boy. I'm Arya Stark of Winterfell. And if you lay a hand on me, my father will have both your heads on spikes. Are you going to let me by, or do I need to smack you on the ear to help with your hearing? You know I had half my guard out searching for you. She's chasing a cat. <laughs> they said they were going to kill you. Who oh, did? I didn't see them, but I think one was fat. They said you found the bastard, and the wolves are fighting the lions and the savage. Where did you hear this? In the dungeons. What were you doing in the dungeons? <laughs> Chasing a cat? Yeah. Chasing a cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a night's watchman here begging a word. Says it's urgent. Your name, friend? Yorin, if it please. This must be your son. <laughs> <laughs> Did Benjamin? send you no one sent me my lord i'm here to find men for the wall see if there's any scum in the dungeons that might be fit for service scum in the dungeons <laughs> they're disrespectful to them that's not why i disturb you now your brother benjamin his blood runs black makes him as much my brother as yours there are others riding too the whole city will know by tomorrow best said in private my lord what is going on i know what <laughs> he's stressing me out get, get it out come along my lady you heard your father she got caught a boy this whole episode. <laughs> my little girl does not need an How escort. How does my father have? You wouldn't let anyone kill him, would you? No fear on that account, little lady. Can you trust this guy? It's about your wife, my lord. Whoa. She's taking the imp. Oh, he doesn't oh. know. Bro, yeah, that really complicates things. So war's brewing for sure. Yeah. 100%. So he's going to figure out that the royal 
family tried to kill his son and they're going to figure out that they kidnapped. And it's scary because he's in King's Landing. Oh, and his daughter. <laughs> lady Aaron expecting your visit. There was no time to send word. May I ask my lady mm -mm. why he is with you? He is my prisoner. He doesn't look like a prisoner. My sister will decide what he looks like. Oh yeah, her sister was married to the Hand of the King who died. That's why she was called Lady Aaron. That makes sense. That looks crazy. What in the world? You want to live there? No, I wouldn't Not even want to walk up there. Your presence has been requested in the small council chamber. A meeting has been called. I need to see the king first, alone. The king is at the small council meeting, my lord. He has summoned you. Is it about my wife? No, my lord. Oh my I believe it concerns Daenerys Targaryen. The whore is pregnant. Mm -hmm. You're speaking of murdering a child. I want him dead. Mother and child. Who's giving him that information, though? You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. Do you think honor keeps them in line? Then we're no better than the Mad King. Careful, Ned. Careful now. <laughs> you want to assassinate a girl because the spider heard a rumor. The Jorah Mormont. He is serving as advisor to the Targaryens. Oh, that's that guy, the yeah. old dude. Yeah. I thought he was the translator, but... Yeah, the guy who sold slaves. He broke the law, betrayed his family, fled our land. We commit murder on the word of this man. If she has a son, a Targaryen at the head of a Dothraki army. The narrow sea still lies between us. Do nothing. That's your wise advice. <laughs> Do nothing till our enemies are on our shores. You're my counsel. Counsel! <laughs> I bear this girl no ill will, but should the Dothraki invade, how many innocents will die? Is it not wiser, kinder even, that she should die now so that tens of thousands might live? So they're trying to kill Daenerys? Yeah, but they're guaranteeing a war. I guess before they can, like, conjure an army? I followed you into war. Just kill him? Twice, without doubts, without second thoughts. But I will not follow you now. The oh, wow. I grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. Oh. She dies. I will have no part in it. Oh, he needs him on his side. <gasps> no. He threw it on the table, Adam. I thought you were a better man. Out, damn you, I've done with you. You can do that? Go run back to Winterfell. I'll have your head on a spike. What in the hell is going on? Oh my God. I'll go ahead with my daughters. Lord Beelish is here for you. Look at this little snake. about you at some length. The word treason was mentioned. If you're still here come nightfall, I'll take you to see the last person John Aaron spoke with before falling ill. I don't have the time. It won't take more than an hour, but as you please. Oh, you might should just get out. I know, because his wife has that whole situation too. Who are your best two swords? Hewitt and Will. And meet me at the stables. Bro, this just got intense, didn't it? Yeah, this very just stressful. escalated. You pollute my home with these presents. What the hell? What in Isn't the world? beautiful? And strong too. His last words were, the seed is strong. He wanted everyone to know what a good, strong boy his son would grow up to be. The Lord of all the Vale. You wrote me about the Lannisters, warning me to stay away from them, not to bring one here. Is that the bad man? He's Tyrion the Imp of House Lannister. He killed your father. Did I kill him too? <laughs> I've been a very busy man. Wasn't that his brother? What? Who did it? Didn't his brother do it? No, it was the hand of the king. Oh, never mind. His brother killed the old king. Never mind. You can't hurt us. No one can hurt us yet. Tell him, mommy. Tell him. Shh, 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 shh. No one will hurt my baby. I want to see the bad man fly. This man is my prisoner. I will not have him harmed. Did he wipe his mouth off finally? Ugh. <laughs> That's about to make me throw up. My sister's guest is weary. Take him down below so he can rest. What the heck? You got sneak talk, man. Did she not know her sister was, like, bat freaking crazy? <laughs> why did she, like, I don't even know why she brought him there. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. So they gave him that Gandalf treatment. Oh, my gosh. Remember when they imprisoned him in that yes. tower? Yes. What, what does that wall say? Time to something? Time to fly or something. That is crazy, dude. I wouldn't want to fall asleep because what happens if I rolled? Right. Lord Stark's lucky he still has a head. He adores the man. You're jealous. Shaving my man's chest. If you want hairless, maybe you should find a little boy. I want you. That's stressing me out. It treats me as if I'm a spoiled child. How many wars have you fought in? All I ever hear from Robert and Stannis is how I'm not tough enough. How I squirm at the sight of blood. Are you holding your chest? <laughs> yeah, it's hurting. I, I don't want him to slip. Slip on what? Like, I just cut on accident. Every day, I'd still never be as good as you. I guess we'll never know. So what is he just his sh chest shaver or something? Yeah. Everyone like has someone appointed to them in the show. So <laughs> maybe he's his like hairy 
mover. Every time he talks about killing her, I swear the table rises six inches with deep oh. abiding lust for her money. You have to give it to the Lannisters. They may be the most pompous, ponderous cunts the gods ever suffered to walk the world, but they do have an outrageous amount of money. I have an outrageous amount of money. Not as much as the Lannisters. A lot more than you. <laughs> Robert's threatening to take me hunting with him. Robert loves his killing, and he's the king. How did that ever happen? He loves his killing, and he used to be good at it. Do you know who should be king? Not you, bro. <laughs> I'm fourth in line. And where's Robert in the line of royal succession? Joffrey is a monster. Tommen is eight. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah. Cut me. It's just blood. We've all got it in us. Sometimes a little spills. If you become king, you're going to see a lot of this. You might give him a staff infection. Ah. People love you they love to serve you because you're kind to them you're willing to do what needs to be done that was kind of psycho though <laughs> you don't love killing where is it written that power is the sole province of the worst that thrones are only made for the hated oh he's pulling his johnson out there <laughs> <laughs> thought he was just his name <laughs> yeah he's a little more than that <laughs> and that's robert's brother i guess so i'm sorry your marriage to ned stark didn't work out <laughs> Glad I could do something to make you happy. Without a hand, everything will fall to pieces. This is where you tell me to give the job to your brother, Jamie. <laughs> He's not serious enough. Was it really worth it, losing him this way? Targaryen girl convinces her horse lord husband to invade. And the Dothraki horde crosses the narrow sea. He's really worried about that. Yeah. We won't be able to stop them. Dothraki don't sail. Every child knows that. The neat little trick you do, you move your lips and your father's voice comes out. <laughs> Is my father wrong? Let's say Viserys Targaryen lands with 40,000 Dothraki screamers at his back. We hole up in our castles. They go from town to town, looting and burning. How long do the people of the Seven Kingdoms stand behind their absentee king? Their cowardly king? Right. <laughs> when do the people decide that Viserys Targaryen is the rightful monarch after all? So that girl's brother. Well, he thinks it's that brother, but we both know that he ain't in the plans. Yeah. <laughs> or one. Six. Five. Sorry, I'm annoying. <laughs> That's right. Our purpose died with the Mad King. Now we've got as many armies as there are men with gold in their purse. And everybody wants something different. Your father wants to own the world. Ned Stark wants to run away and bury his head in the snow. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Drink? <laughs> I guess so. We haven't had a real fight in nine years. Backstabbing doesn't prepare you for a fight, and that's all the realm is now. Sometimes I don't know what holds it together. Right, that's the vibe I'm getting, right? Just corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> She's at our marriage. Right. 17 years later, holding it all together. Don't you get tired? Every day. How long can hate hold a thing together? Well, 17 years is quite a long time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What a weird marriage. They're in a weird position. What was she like? You've never asked about her. Oh, the woman who's like, I kill him in my dreams. At first, just saying her name. Ned Sark's I sister. I felt like I was I putting a knife back into her. I thought if I didn't talk about her, she'd just fade away for you. When I realized that wasn't going to happen, I didn't want to give you the satisfaction of thinking I cared enough to ask. And eventually it became clear that my spite didn't mean anything to you. As far as I could tell, you actually enjoyed it. So why now? What harm could Lyanna Stark's ghost do to either of us that we haven't done to each other a hundred times over? I can't even remember what she looked like. Damn. I only know she was the one thing I ever wanted. Someone took her away from me and seven kingdoms couldn't fill the hole she left behind. Wow. Does That's that not suck you. for her right here? <laughs> no, she don't care. Even after we lost our first boy, was it ever possible for us? But like, was she attracted to her brother during that whole time or what? <laughs> like, I don't know. No. Oh. He's a realist. Does that make you feel better or worse? Worse. It doesn't make me feel anything. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was cold. Oh my gosh. I think that made her feel worse. She just doesn't want to give him the satisfaction. She just says she's like that. Most women are. She looks like him, don't she, my lord? She has his nose, his black hair. Tell him when you see him, my lord, how beautiful she is. And tell him, I've been with no one else. I swear it, my lord, by the old gods and you. When John Arryn came to visit you, what did he want? He wasn't that sort of man, my lord. He just wanted to know if the child was happy, healthy. Looks healthy enough to me. Yeah, he's a little chunk. <laughs> Girls should want for nothing. Brothels make a much better investment than ships. Whores rarely sink. 
Robert's bastards. He has more than you, for a start. And John Harry tracked them all down. Why? Perhaps Robert wanted them looked after. He was overcome with fatherly love. Oh, so it's Robert's kids. John Aaron was just making sure they were, like, taken care of, I guess. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Wow. So you're saying the king has a bunch of, like, illegitimate kids? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's what the girl said. She said she just wants the king. Stay back, sir. This is the hand of the king. I'm not sure what he is. What's the meaning of this, Lannister? I'm looking for my brother. You remember my brother, don't you, Lord Stark? Short man. I remember him well. You wouldn't know what happened to him, would you? He was taken at my command. Oh, wow. To answer for his crimes. My lord! Oh, my gosh. You threaten my lord again? Threaten. As in, I'm going to open your lord from balls to brains and see what Starks are made of. What? I'd like to see him try. Take him alive. Kill his men. <gasps> oh. What? No. So war just started. Oh, that was easy for him. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's like his buddy. You'd imagine you'd train not to get stabbed right in your eye, right? Oh my god, that's his like straight buddy. That's crazy. Kill him, Ned. Kill him. Jamie's kind of rude. <gasps> nice duck. Oh my god, oh my god. He's like playing. Oh, Ned? Yeah, Ned's playing. Get him, Ned. Stop playing with him. <gasps> what is that? Huh. Bro, that was dirty. That's not even fair, dude. How are you gonna do that? Is Jamie pissed? <laughs> Dang, he still got the spear sticking on his leg. What the heck? Want him back. Okay, so they really do ride for Tyrion. That was proven. Well, I think that they don't care one bit about him. Like, in my mind, they just don't want to be disrespected like oh, that. Oh, it was just disrespectful to the family? Right. That was wild. Wow. So that was the beginning of it, man. War is upon us. Yes. That was nuts. All right, guys, that was Game of Thrones episode five of season one. That was crazy, man. So war is coming. I can see how everything's really about to blow up at this point. Right. What do you think about this episode? Babe? So I think like it's confusing in a way because it seems like Robert's worried about Daenerys and all that stuff. Whereas Ned was worried about his wife taking Tyrion. So like he was concerned about it's an issue and Robert was concerned about a different issue which made their issues like kind of come together and made Ned walk away from being the hand and that is a serious thing I think. So you're saying that there's so many elements pulling in so many directions that everyone's sort of everyone's sort of so dialed in on what they're focused on that no one's really seeing the big picture which is the whole entire kingdom looks like it's about to be disrupted right in many different ways that's the vibe i'm getting right right because th they're saying the death rocky coming there is like a lot of people are like oh it's a problem but a lot of people are also like not it's not it gonna happen yeah yeah because... this is never gonna happen it never has how can it but the vibe that i'm getting is they wouldn't sit there like you know if you're gonna start a tv show off right and show a gun like you have to use that gun by the end of the episode so the way i see it man the dorthraki have to eventually cross that ocean like uh, eventually or I, I don't know I, maybe yeah. they'll meet someone who has ships i feel I like it's know. gonna happen soon and I, you know maybe drogo's gonna kill the king that's where i'm seeing oh this go gosh. um just a full-on invasion so maybe the king is sort of losing it he's falling out of character because he can see his own demise coming the thing that was confusing in this episode to me was why i wasn't sure why they met her sister lady stark's sister oh she was i wasn't so sure what what, like, what the point oh, of that God. was like i know it wanted to show us she was breastfeeding like a a nine-year-old child but like Which, other you know, than other than that i don't know why we had to see her right yeah i usually stay out them debates but you know what bro I, you know i'll inject myself into this one once your child is of a certain age you should probably just just put them up you know what i'm saying <laughs> just, just at least switch to formula like jesus <laughs> uh yeah man i'm not really sure why we went there i'm not sure why we met her this episode was actually kind of confusing to me we will watch it back several times in the yeah. editing guys definitely no more but um what i'm definitely seeing is the king had a lot of illegitimate children there's a lot of questions on who should technically have the right to rule this throne which is something that i'm still confused about I'm not exactly but the thing is i don't think that they're so concerned about it i think that they're just like i think the hand before was like paid or maybe like took it upon himself to take care of them. So like, in case anything ever came up about their lineage, they were like, not like evil or maybe not like, what is it called when you're like resentful? Like maybe they weren't resentful so they could never like come and get right to the throne they were just taken care of. Right, yeah, just to I, I don't know. basically keep them content so that way they don't become spiteful and right. come raising a bunch of issues with the throne, I get it. Yeah, man, just a lot to dissect in that episode. Uh, so many comments early on about how, oh, you guys are doing so great, you're catching everything. We're just like, oh, great, sure. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's getting hard, man. Uh, 
you know it's really getting hard because there's a lot of information a lot of like prequel type stuff you know oh the battle of so-and-so and, -so. and right. i'm assuming that i'm doing my best to like catch that stuff and try to remember but man it's hard but i'm assuming right. that it's going to become relevant ned stark versus jamie finally went down i guess in a way like we've all been waiting for it i think ned stark had him man he seemed a little quicker a little faster uh definitely cheated cheated to take him out yeah that was rude i don't know why that guy felt obligated to do that but it might have saved ned's life maybe i'm not sure or it could have saved jamie's life i don't know right that um, was that was tough we just got a long ways to go man uh we're gonna figure out what happens with Tyrion. we're gonna figure out what happens oh what, what do you think is gonna happen to ned so obviously they took him captive at yeah that point, right um i don't know i guess robert is either gonna like take him back as hand of the king because remember they kind of had that talk and no she was, they can't they, they can't, can't take him back. well not at this point like Oh, because because his wife. It's very no. Well, no. It's open. It's open news in the kingdom that the the Stark family's kidnapped a. No, a I thought no one knows yet. I thought no one knows yet because everyone they knows. Were they just made it public. Oh, I thought they were fighting. And well, yeah, but whispers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I this thought they weren't a, sure. Okay. Those whispers are gonna. Oh, sorry, I got a you, you get what I'm saying? The rumors are gonna spread. Okay, so, but I so thought they just didn't know quite yet. I, that's what I was saying. The confusion of they're mad about one thing but some people are mad about other things like because a lot of people know things that other people don't no nah, sometimes and sometimes that's hard to keep up with yeah for sure yeah. I, but it seemed like jamie knew 100 percent. like hey guys it seemed like he had a hunch but he didn't know exactly what happened to his brother that's what it seemed like to me it know. seemed he like just he was just a lot of dudes man. yeah but know. he was just trying to show ned like he's for real like you better tell me that's crazy, what I thought. Crazy. Uh, definitely getting more into this show. I'll be honest with you guys. The first episode or two, I really actually kind of liked it, but it was like slow, like moving slow. That episode was the fastest one. Every single so bit far. of it was just intense. Like right. <laughs> this crazy one's episode. not really one we can have like a long discussion on because like right. a lot of a lot of things shifted, but things we didn't know about. So right. I think just with watching this, we'll understand more. And like like you know, in typical Game of Thrones fashion, there was some really awkward, cringy moments in it that are just like oh ugh. but yeah for sure particularly the kid on the breastfeeding bro that was ugh. that was strange very weird all right, guys, it's been the Octobers, man. Uh, we didn't really say in the intro, guys, but if you still stick around to the video, that means you care enough to know. But we have moved officially. We are in our brand new living room, but it's not really a living room. We're going to keep saying living room. It's more of like our office slash studio, right? Yes. Anyways, guys, we got a Blake canvas behind us, as you guys can see. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. Right. We have a big room to grow into, and I'm really excited to start recording some content in this room. Things will change, man. We got a couch coming, all that good stuff. So we're going to keep tweaking things, trying to get it set up, and hopefully we can put out some good videos that you guys like to see. So hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the extended raw reactions to these, the uncut, the long versions, and like, subscribe, hit us up, turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss an upload. Got anything else? Nope, I'm ready to watch the next one. Let's go. We're about to watch it now, right? Yeah. Let's go.